Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the Seattle Mariners MLB The Show franchise and today we're taking on the Detroit Tigers. They are one of the worst teams in the American League and we're really hoping to get a win. We'll see if we can. There's Edwin Encarnacion throwing out uh, balls to the fans in the stands and we've got King Felix on the mound today. 6-11 with a 4-9-2 ERA. In 21 games, he has not pitched like the old King Felix. He'll face Josh Harrison right away here, and he will strike him out with a pitch up and in. That was Harrison, and the Tigers will put out Mercer, Cabrera, Castellanos, Hicks, Stort, Matuk, Candelario, and Wilson. So here we go. It is Mercer, and he's going to drive one into left field, and that one going to ding right off the foul pole for a dinger. That is Jordy Mercer, and he is going to put the Tigers up 1-0. Good hit by him. Now, we move to the bottom of the first, and we have got a hit right there. Will he beat it out? No, he will not, so he is going to be out. That was Shed Long leading off the game. We've got Beckham Santana, Encarnacion, Healy, Lewis, Ichiro, Reyes, and Jose Lobaton. So here we go. It's King Felix, and he's going to line this one over to first, and that's going to be a backwards double play for King Felix and the defense. So we'll take that, and then Encarnacion going to drive one into right center field. He's shopping gap, as Octi says, and that's going to be a double. All right, so now they push him over to third base with Ichiro at bat, and it's great to see Ichiro able to drive in a run here as that one coming right off the glove of the second baseman. So here we go later on. It's going to be a strikeout with two on for Jose Lobaton. Here's Ryan Healy with two on, and he's going to go down swinging, and the game remains 1-1. We go top five, and that's going to be a drive to left center field. Nobody even tries to get it because it's so far gone. A big home run right there, and now Miguel Cabrera is up with two on, and he's going to drive one into right field, and that's going to be misplayed out there. And around going to come some runners, and that's going to score two runs. Miguel Cabrera with some ribbies will make it a 5-1 to one game in favor of the Detroit Tigers. So here's Shed Long up to bat again, and he's going to rip this one into left field down the line. That's going to be a very nice hit for Shed Long as he's going to pick up a double here. Okay, that next batter is going to be Tim Beckham, and he is going to rip this one at the shortstop. And they're going to go after Shed Long. They don't make the tag, and we've got runners on the corners for free. And there's going to be a lightly tapped ball by Domingo Santana. He will ground out into a fielder's choice, but Shed Long will score. It'll be 5-2. Candelario up at bat here, and he's going to drive in a run with two outs in the top of the six, making it 6-2 in favor of Detroit. Then we got Ryan Healy up at bat in the bottom of the six, and he's going to rip one into right field. And that one's going short porch. Home run for Ryan Healy. Very nice piece of hitting right there. His eighth of the year. The solo shot is going to draw the Mariners within three. Two runners on here for Jose Reyes. He's going to ground out to shortstop. It's going to be a double play. That kind of ruins our inning. But we have a guy on third, and that one's going to be lightly tapped over to third. And they will throw him out, so we get nothing out of that two-on, no-out situation. Shane Green going to come in here in the ninth. He's going to face Jose Reyes as his first batter. The 0-1 pitch is going to be tapped very lightly, and Reyes thrown out at first base. That's one of the three they need. Then in comes Lobaton. He's going to get a hit up the middle of the field, so our nine-hitter doing it. Shed Long is going to strike out on a pretty bad pitch. Not the best at bat for Shed. And then we've got Tim Beckham right there, and he's going to go down swinging as well. And that's going to do it. The Detroit Tigers will get the win 6-3. We had more hits than them, but we weren't able to push across as many runs. Jordy Mercer did very well for them. Stort was 3-4 for, for them. 
Mercer, of course, hitting his ninth homer of the year. Wilson hit his second homer of the year for them. Zimmerman goes over seven innings with three runs allowed. And, of course, King Felix in this game just not having a good season. Five and a third gives up four runs. So now we're going to go ahead and simulate this game here against the Texas Rangers. Um, but we do end up getting a trade offer as we are going to sim it here. So let's take a look. Simulating this game sometime this week. There it is. Five to four, we get the win. And then we get this trade offer. Interesting trade offer from the Phillies. They're trying to pick up Malik Smith from us. And they are trying to give us a decent return if you look at it. Um, they are looking to give us Drew Anderson, who is a 57 but a B potential guy. And then they're trying to give us Alec Bohm, a third baseman, 66 overall, A potential 21-year-old. That's a pretty darn good player they're trying to throw our way. But I'm not really looking to give up Malik Smith. He's one of the guys I want to build around in this series. He's only 25 years old. He's also A potential. He's already playing in the majors. Not really a guy I want to get rid of. And now today is the trade deadline. And as you can see, we're three games out of the wild card. We're actually not out of it. The second wild card team is only 500 on the season, and we're only six games below 500. But we are going to sell some pieces off. Wade LeBlanc is going to be gone. For Junior Severino and Andrew Vasquez, we get a solid second baseman and a solid reliever for our minor league system. Some B potential guys. And then we're going to ship off Anthony Swarzak. He hasn't been our greatest Bullpen arm, we get Miguel Moraldo, Samad Taylor, and Elvis Luciano. Two Bs and a C, all youngish. So we'll pick that up. We'll trade three guys we are not using. They're all in single A. And we're going to get uh, Lachlan Wells, who can help us out on the starting end, because we had uh, two low starting pitchers and we had a lot of relievers. Then we're going to get rid of a reliever along with a first baseman and a second baseman. Of course, these guys we were not using. And we're going to pick up a 62 C potential guy in Alsea. All right, so we get those, and then we need an extra closing pitcher arm. I don't want to pick up Lambert because he's F potential, but we'll pick up Almanzar over here, who is a C potential guy, and stick him in the lineup. All right, so looking at what the lineup's going to look like going forward now after selling off some pieces, we do end up with David Freeze in a trade. So David Freeze comes in to the team. He will not start. Uh, Kyle Seeger, of course, will continue starting, but we are going to take Tim Beckham out of the starting lineup and give Shed Long a lot of reps. So Shed Long is going to be playing a lot more games. As a 75 overall, I want him to grow. I want him to learn. So this is going to be the time for him to do that. Shed Long is going to be playing a lot. And then looking at our rotation, here it is. Without LeBlanc, we have Marco Gonzalez, you say Kikuchi. We have Mike Leake. We have King Felix, who's not pitching well, obviously. And Justice Sheffield will be there. Yaziel Sierra was another guy we made a deal for that wasn't shown on screen. But I believe that was a deal that we made in giving away Encarnacion. Maybe it was the guy we gave away there. I, I don't recall. But we gave away somebody big in order to get both of those guys away. So, what do you guys think of the moves? Let me know in the comments section below. And the next episode will feature uh, a monthly recap. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Take care.